cool, man. Giant step north at the top of the mountain. Oh, gosh, Danger, do not me. enter. That sign isn't going to stop me because I can't read. <laughs> this shack was locked by someone from <laughs> City Hall. <laughs> was it, they, they do that in like one of the Buy Little Pony parodies or something like that. that was, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Exactly I was going to say, I almost could have swore they did it. <laughs> this shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes and hotels are too expensive. I, I don't want to talk to you again. Already. Go away. No. I don't want to talk. Go away. Your yeah, buddy's a jerk. Her. The voice what? is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. stupid. Can't you read? It says don't enter. <laughs> Which oh. plays right into what you already said. I can't read. Uh, the mole. That's right, we talked to the mole. I am not your enemy. I am simply your average one of the mill. But damn it. <laughs> I was remember, going to read that. Remember, we want to try to keep our language somewhat under control. You brought that on yourself, I did, man. I did. Um, would you like to dance at fighting enemies? I probably should have said no because I know how to play. But anyway, my hint involves which way you're facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you're alone, you're to When they approach you this way, your TV screen, I mean the world around you, will still stretch. Okay. You know how to play, so just forget it. It's, you know, it's Chrono Trigger. It's Chrono Trigger. Speaking of. You know what you should do as a playthrough as well? You should definitely do Chrono Trigger. That would be fun oh. to do. That would be awesome to do. I don't know anything Chrono. about Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger I, is... It's a lovely, lovely game. It's pretty fun. It's um, it's a role-playing game about time travel. And so oh. there's like this fair going on in town and like this, this girl's invented a time machine and she's trying to show it off and it sucks, the, sucks someone into no, the... No, it's a teleporter. That's what it was. It's a teleporter. The arcade is full of sharks. I can't play there. Um, yeah, a teleporter, yeah. but it ends up like essentially it works like a time machine. And so, like, the. Yeah, it, someone it, gets... it, it, it malfunctions and becomes a time machine. Yeah. Oh my god. So one of their friends gets pulled into it, and like Chrono and uh, Luca, I think is her name, uh, they have to go back in time to try to rescue her. And it's the whole humor of like every time they've gone back in time, now mm -hmm. they've alter the time streams and now you've got to go back and fix it again and Holy then you'll go crappity. to the future and it's like all it's, these it's crazy stuff. Yeah. It's so funny. Now, Why think... is every lady blonde? All of them are blonde. You know, I haven't thought about that but I think you're right. I think they are all blonde. Nazis. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I was going to say it. Bound. Everybody is inbred. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> inbred? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, may I take your order? <laughs> Uh, Have a nice kidding. day, smile, smile. That's funny. So I'm proud smile, of this joke. Smile. I wrote this one because I can remember 90s. It seems like I'm always here. I've just got to get my fill of super size meals before some yuppie with a video camera ruins them for everybody. <laughs> oh my Aaron. gosh. I, I I had some fun making 90s jokes in this one. Though. I could tell. All right. Like all the dudes have different hair colors. Yeah. It's just the women. I don't, you know, there may be some who are dark haired too. I've, I just, I've I, seen one or two women further in the game that mm -hmm. have black hair. Yep. But that's it. I don't know. That's weird. I, I hadn't, I hadn't thought about it until you mentioned it. Maybe, maybe the creator just has a thing for blonde ladies. I guess. Well, I mean, again. It's... Yeah. Oh, and that old lady has gray hair, but she's super. That, old. I, yeah, I was say old. I think yeah. that. I she think was that guy's probably dude. blonde at one point too. That, yeah. that guy's definitely a dude. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be an old man, but yeah, either way. Oh, that's a dude. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I know. Like I know. It looks like a lady. grandma. Hello there. How may I help you? Can I get you anything? Can you get my dentures? Can you wipe my butt, please? <laughs> Can you chew my food? <laughs> oh my goodness. Please uh, read the newspaper for me. I can't read anymore. I'm gonna get the T-ball bat. That'll make me stronger. And oh, you know, I get the cheap bracelet actually for the moment. That that'll raise my. Um, Why is it blinking? Because it blinks to show that you can like equip that item and it's good for you. Oh. Yeah. No, raise my defense. It's useful for me right now. Oh, you're talking to the other dude. Yeah. Um, I think we're good now. Uh, yes. Can I buy the baseball bat? The T-ball bat? No, I can't yet. I need to get some more money. Okay. 
Is it shaped like a T and a ball at the same time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a it's a British baseball bat. It really enjoys tea. <laughs> there's my there's my hilarious gag for the episode, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> These are the jokes, folks. <clears throat> We're on a way to bring it today. <laughs> You know, it's fitting because this team, the team that made this game, is ultimately the team that made Pokemon, so... Yeah! Please feel free to stop and smell the roses, but step on them and I swear I will gut you like a fish! Okay, jeez! <laughs> a girl named Paula lives in Dawson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paul's really special! Why is she special? She's autistic. <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> 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 oh you know, I'm really not doing this kind of voice on even someone. <laughs> Are the bushes just whispering to each other? What you know. It's actually because, like, I knocked on the door and the idea is, like, he's listening in, but the idea that the bushes are talking <laughs> to each other behind his back is pretty funny. <laughs> and then behind the house, you are beating a bird in with a... Yes. It's like, hey, you're fella, what's a going on? A baseball bat. You have interested in buying some drugs? <laughs> Want to score some crack, son? I've got some bubblegum shaped like a cigarette. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not actually bubblegum. It's a real cigarette. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like, it's your bird poop. <laughs> it's your bird poop. <laughs> I've actually had um, sticks of bubble gum that were shaped like cigarettes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like. Candy um, cigarettes, yeah. Yeah, it's like. Um, I have candy cigarettes before, they're yummy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like the it was like the <laughs> retro version of candy or something like that, so I've heard. I love retro candy. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because, like, now they a... just. Now they just sell them as, like, candy sticks. Like, they won't label them as candy cigarettes. It's like, oh, come on. We know what that's supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah, exactly. no. They're, they're the Popeyes. Yeah. Oh, he looks handsome. City Hall Wait, is to give... the east. Oh, oh sorry. No, 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 go, like, go on, go on, like, go on. I wanted to give him that, like, stupid accent. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. City Hall is to the east, you know, where the sun rises. <laughs> He's Australian? <laughs> Uh, He's Australian. Fair take mate. Hello, Australian. I can only do Hello, Australian. I can only do it when I say I'm not this. <laughs> <laughs> I have to like... Oh, something. I miss you from the way, 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 In the next oh. corner. Uh, well, what is the name? Uh, uh, Polish started preschool. The preschool is at Paula's house. Paula is a what's it called? Magic. Hey, it's pig pen. The uh, point oh my god, it is. The point overlooking the sea is beautiful scenery. It's over that way. Such a beautiful place gets me all choked up. I'm, <laughs> I'm convinced it was supposed to look like Pigpen because, like, the art style of this game is like. I'm sorry, Matthew. I like, puked all over you. Oh, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> what? The art style of the game is like clearly inspired from like peanuts and stuff. So, like, that's actually one of the reasons like why I decided to do like the the hack because the game like very obviously was like trying to be like oh it's oh. like an American. It was trying to go for like an Americana kind of thing, and a lot of the humor in it was very Japanese in style. And I thought, no, you, you, an American joke would phrase it this way, like go this way with it. Now it kind of. Oh my works. god, he's actually playing the trumpet. Yep. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, the voice I imagine that guy having yeah. is like a jazz, like like a ja like an old jazz man. He's Louis Armstrong. Yeah. I must be the happiest man in the world. I can practice my trumpet in this scenic spot. <laughs> I'll send my heart and melody throughout the town. <laughs> you know what I wish? Yeah. I wish you could have Fat Albert as a, as a party member. <laughs> Every RPG needs Fat Albert as a playable character. Yes. Oh my god, yes. He just comes in and he, he they, they play Buck Buck and he just crushes the, uh, the enemies. Also, okay, obviously this isn't that important, mm -hmm. but because I bring it up, Suddenly, it will become important. And everyone will rage Why about it. But like is, are there any are there any black people in this game? Um, there's one black person, and he looks like Mr. T. I'm not making oh, that up. Oh, I'm no. not making that up. I remember him. I, 
Uh, yeah, that's a little Muppet Show reference. He loses patience all the time. Our medical staff is horrible. That's a little Muppet <laughs> Show reference for you folks out there. I can tell an agent each one of you twenty dollars. No thanks. <sighs> Excuse me. But you're right, like almost all the ladies in this look like the uh, Joker. Joker! Joker! Do the Joker! Oh, hello! And you are, say, have you ever suffered from some type of <laughs> sickness or condition that you couldn't get cured at a hospital? For example, being diamondized, where your head gets as hard as <laughs> a diamond, or mushroomized, where you have a. <laughs> A mushroom on your head. If you're ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we of the Magic Healing Shrine are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting in the lobby of hospitals all over the world. The person next to me is the great teacher of magic healing. I want to point out, too, that that guy, if you just look, if you look at, like, the two dots above the, like, where it's, where it's supposed to be his nose... Oh, yeah. It looks like a really tiny happy face. Yeah. It looks like a little tiny. It does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. I see it now. And then he's just, I see it. And he's just got a funny looking beard. <laughs> he's a happy face with a weird goatee. Okay, wait, wait, can you, can you click him? To, can, you, oh, can you click him again? Yeah, here, here. Hold on, okay. hold on. Oh, you may not believe it. I'm a healer. <laughs> If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital... I can't see him any other way it's now. My, it's my job to cure you. <laughs> you need some help? I really hate it. <laughs> I really hate it. I'm sorry. You get and, it. Oh, no. And there's, I'm there's the title of this episode, Thanks I Hate It. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. <laughs> when I came to visit my friend at the hospital... I should have been really I need to re edit it so the sign says hostable for the place. Hostable. <laughs> so now I'm staying in the hostable too. <laughs> I'd say it's a great place to visit, but you wouldn't want to live here. But no, it's not a great place to visit either. <laughs> <laughs> Tombstone blowout sale. We have a special discount for those who have passed on in this hospital. What would you like written on your tombstone? Onet Hospital Secure Surgery Team. Security Team? Security Team, Surgery Team. That's why they're so bad. They double up on all their jobs. I want I want written on my tombstone 20% cooler now that I'm a zombie. <laughs> I've always wanted a tombstone. Legitimately, I want this. Who when I the house? When I... <laughs> When I die, I want a tombstone that looks like a zombie version of me rising up from the grave. And I want a motion sensor on it so that whenever people walk by or whatever, it says things like, You kids get off my lawn! Or, You people are trying to sleep down here! He's told me this many I'll times. I'll make sure that happens. I man, want it worry. so badly, guys. It's the only well, thing I want in life. Yes. I'll put the deposit down on it. <laughs> Meanwhile. Make sure it happens. I'll put my deposit down on Why is that? That guy looks like Charlie Chaplin. Okay, I I, I have a question. Why yeah. is that sign behind a building like that and all the bushes are there? It's inconvenient. It's not a good place to put a sign with all the bushes there. I don't know. It's just what they did. Okay. It's just how the game... It's how it... It's how anyway. me. If you have any trouble, oh, don't count on me! Alright. It's Charlie Chaplin again! <laughs> <laughs> Chris, how are you doing? I'm eating spaghetti. All right. How is your so spaghetti? Helpless. Are you okay? <laughs> Parkle! <laughs> Parkle! <laughs> I was gonna say, that's almost as good as Parkle! When you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Please answer a clip of that. When you're Please in trouble, do you think you'd ever like to have a hint? No. <laughs> All right, then. You're on your own. Good luck. But yes, I'll be sure to insert the podcast thing. <laughs> I hope they have t-shirts uh, out there the with the word poggers and derpy uh, uh, Chuck E. Cheese on it. <laughs> yes. I, I would pay. I would pay for a Chuck E. Cheese poggers t-shirt. So I would I. pay good money for that. I'll be like Patrick Star. Be like, I'll take twenty. I'll take twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so far we haven't seen any women that have any other hair color right. other than blonde. I've, I've seen one, and it was the nurse, and 
she was she had black hair. That's right. Yeah, that's oh, right. That's that's right. that's right. There are some characters who have black hair. But most of them are are blonde. Do brunettes not exist red. in this world? <laughs> no, <gasps> absolutely not. They're not allowed. But but we're all brunettes. They are right? not allowed. Wait, Chris, are you a brunette? They are banned. Yes, uh, our kind have been banned from the world of Earthbound, and aren't you glad? Guys, shut up! I'm asking Chris a question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I really don't know what my hair color is. Really? It's either like dishwater, dishwater blonde, or oh, <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard it described that way before. You ever heard dishwater, dishwater blonde? No. Yeah. yeah. No, that's how. That's that's the name of it. Mm -hmm. That's such a mean description for it. Why would anyone ever say it like that? I don't know. That's I mean, terrible. Kind of also, dishwater. May I? May I? Um be correct with you here, it can be all sorts of colors depending on what kind of dirty dishes you put in the water. You know, I always thought- I've always washed, I've washed if... enough dishes in my lifetime to know what dishwater looks like. I've always thought the, the, the phrase strawberry blonde was a weird one because when I think of strawberry, I think of bright red strawberry color and that's yeah. not yeah. what strawberry blonde is. I'm always like, no, that's inaccurate. Why would you say that? I, I have grown accustomed to that saying though because it just sounds so dang cute. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, dishwater. It, well, doesn't it mean that there's a there's a mix of like a strawberry? It could be that's like a mix of like red and blonde. blonde. I can't remember now. Yeah, it's like the blonde hair has a slight reddish tint yeah. to it. Yeah. Meanwhile, dishwater blonde just reminds me of Velma's girlfriend from that one Scooby Doo show. <laughs> Hot dog water. Yes. Why would anyone name their child that? <laughs> well, I, apparently it was supposed to be like an insulting nickname that somebody gave her in the show or something. No, but everyone called her that. I guess. I, here's the thing. I I have right? not seen that point in the show. That's just what my brother said. Oh my god, that crow is wearing a bow tie. <laughs> What'd you say? I can't hear you. The crow's wearing a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. You know what? Yes, let's, let's, cool let's pretend I said that. I can't hear you over hey, how cool my bow tie is. Yeah, you said is. this was by uh, Game Freak too, right? Uh, yes. Oh, cool. Game how many Freak years before? Game Freak does a lot of game. Does a lot of good stuff. Uh, I don't remember how early this was before Pokemon. Well, but you yes. said it was. A, this is a '90s game, right? Yes. I think I saw in the like on the title card it said 1990. So I think it's literally like not like when did Pokemon start? Uh, 1990. I was 96, I think, or maybe it was 94. I don't know. I thought it was 98. Mm, no, I think it was before that. Let me look it up. Please do. When did yeah. Pokemon start? We're looking it up now, guys. Somebody touch my poggers!